All right, you might think that I've flown the coop and that I've given up on this project, but I absolutely have not. I know I haven't blogged uh, in, I think, over a month now, but I promise you there's a lot coming. Things are under development. I'm actually vlogging from my garage right now where things are starting to assemble. I can even show you um, this. This is the, the frame I'm planning to put the machine on. We've got parts coming together here. We've got our motor. We've got our gearbox. We've got our shredder. We've got sprockets. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to be talking about in uh, future episodes. Today, I'm actually going to be talking about cleaning out this garage. I've been trying to power wash these floors and I didn't have a way to get a strong uh, water supply to the power washer that I'm using and using some 3D printing techniques and a little bit of prototyping inside of Fusion 360, I managed to find a solution. And, that still, I think, is ultimately on the subject of plastic, the power of plastic. Uh, so that's what I'm actually going to be talking today is how to design a custom component uh, for a garden hose adapter from scratch. If all you wanted was an update on how the machine is going, parts are coming together. That's going to be in future updates. So I hope you enjoy. I am going to walk through building an adapter. Uh, I have a little... I've got this water pump here and right now it only comes with a little spout like this. Put this spout on the end and it spits water up. It's for going into tiny little aquariums. But what I actually want to do is get it adapted to something uh, a little bit more like a garden hose size adapter. This one doesn't quite work, but the, the idea basically is to have something like this size plug into here so that I can attach a garden hose, screw a garden hose on top of this and then pump water out like that. So today I'm going to design that in Fusion 360 uh, and I'm going to walk through how I'm actually going to get that done. So I've got Fusion 360 open right now and I'm just going to get started by uh, creating a new component which we're going to call the hose uh, pump adapter, let's say. I'm going to create a new sketch for that and lay it down a surface. So now I need to draw a 2D model of this uh, and then I'm going to basically turn it into 3D. So one of the first things I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to actually take a whole lot of measurements of this thing right here this little tube you can see so I've got a digital caliper here and basically I'm going to just be measuring a whole bunch of different parts of this to get an idea of what the actual diameter uh, of of this like circular face is anyway so that I can model something very close to it so first of all I'm just going to measure uh, the total diameter of actually you know what I'm gonna measure the widest diameter first of this this whole thing there's this little part here that you can maybe see uh, that's a little bit wider than the rest of it and that's the part I'm gonna measure first so that I get a diameter of 16.1 millimeters so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a circle that is 16.1 millimeters wide. Okay, we can zoom in a little more on this. So that is the maximum diameter we're dealing with. And then next I'm going to measure uh, this size. And this one is 12.8 millimeters wide. So let's do another circle. 12.8 millimeters, 12.8 millimeters wide. Okay, great. Then another thing I want to know is uh, what is the thickness of this part here? And this tells me that it is 1.2 millimeters thick. So um, 1.2 millimeters thick. So what I'm going to do then is I've got this 12.8 uh, 
1.8 millimeter and I need something just 1.2 less than that so I need something that is 11.6 11.6 millimeters wide okay and just like that that should be just about everything that I need to create the adapter part that that's everything that I'm going to need to at least take this bottom portion up to here so that that can actually plug into here I'm trying to print something up to that point and then from this point onward we still haven't figured out quite what to do to get that to the garden hose adapter point yet okay so now that I've finished that sketch what I can actually do is start turning this into something uh, 3d so let's start doing that and basically this is all about using uh, the extrude capability so what I want to do I'm just trying to remember the best order I want to do this in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this face first and let's figure out how how tall I want that to be approximately so I want it to be about this this tall which is 11.2 millimeters uh, that's what it looks like to me let's say 11 millimeters so I'm going to raise this by 11 millimeters all right that's our first face but I now one of the things it's going to do in Fusion 360 is once you start extruding things it hides the sketch but I still want to see the sketch because I actually need to measure something else here I need to measure what the little the thickness is of this little part here and the thickness of that is 2.1 millimeters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what is I took that 11 uh, what did I just say that was 2.2.1 millimeters okay and then I've got 11 millimeters so I'm gonna go down to I need another extrusion watch this that is going to be 8.9 millimeters and okay and just like that you can see now we've got our our cut end so now I can just take this extrusion and I can raise this by 11 millimeters and go and look at that just like that looks to me like we have got what we're looking for here there you go and you've got the thickness of this part perfect okay so like I said we have now modeled uh, in 3d this portion from here to here that's going to go in like that now we just need a way to get a hose uh, adapter on this now this is actually not too tricky of a part I'm not going to model that at all what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a McMaster car component let's just find something garden hose adapters I think is what I'm looking for maybe I found one of these before and I'm just gonna have to search again for it I need to find ones that have 3d model associated with them aha and I think what I wanted was this one wasn't it I believe this is what I'm looking for okay we have found it now so I'm going to take this 3d step file and when I hit save on this it should stick that into my design now oh, and look at that there you go there it is uh, oh. and just raise it up here we need to rotate this thing around 180 degrees and then we're gonna have to figure out well, let's take a look at how this is gonna potentially fit on okay so here is a funny thing about the way 
3D printing works. Okay, so first of all, I need to take this design and I actually need to edit the body just a little bit. I'm trying to remember how I do this now. Can I just delete faces off of this basically? I think it might just let me, yep. Look at that and that. And that. And there you go. That is actually the only part of this that I really care about. That portion right there. And here's another thing I just happen to know from having done this a couple of times. Um, I want to scale this down just a tiny little bit. Just a tiny bit because printing is not perfect. So 0.98% should be good enough. And then rather than mess with trying to fit this perfectly myself, what I can actually do is I'm going to say move uh, from point to point. I'm moving this object from this origin to this origin. Boom. Whoop. Why did that work? Oh. Let's try this. Hold on. We will get this. Move from here to here. Capture that position. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. And that looks pretty good to me. That looks positioned nicely. So now what I'm actually going to do is take this little uh, component and I'm actually going to move it down just a tiny little bit more. Just move it down by, uh, I don't know, one millimeter. Uh, actually, you know what? We're not even going to do that much. We're going to do 0 0.6 millimeters. There we go. Okay. And with that, I now have my adapter all set up for me. So the next trick is to basically just say, I think I'm going to have to move capture position. Oh, this is actually already inside of there. Never mind. So, what I'm going to just have to do is say 3D print, send that to Cura. And I'm actually going to rotate this onto that face instead. And we'll slice that up. I'm going to spiral. the outer contour because I think that helps it print a little bit better when it's got the threading to do on the outside. Um, that's fast. Infill. Let's set that to 100% for this thing. I want it to be very sturdy. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, okay, so basically next I'm just going to print this and see how it goes. Okay, so now it's time to see how all the parts fit together. So this is my new 3D printed part. It's come out quite nicely. There's a little bit of funky stuff inside of there you might be able to see, but I can clean that out. That's not going to be a problem at all. We're really looking for the outsides. How do those fit with the two things? So first of all, let's just test it with the water pump here. And it's going in pretty well. Actually, it's a little bit loose compared to the original piece that goes into it. This is a bit of a tighter fit. So I'll probably need to reprint this a little bit thicker, tighter fit. Otherwise, it's just going to pop off too easily. It's not going to stay in. Uh, next, let's check the other side. How does this actually fit onto a hose? And I have a hose with me, so let's take a look. So here is our hose piece. And here is the thing I've built. Now you're going to see these two things don't actually go directly on one another. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use another type of adapter 
which I also 3D printed here. I didn't make this one myself, I just found it on Thingiverse though. But what we can see is that if I take this and I screw that on, that works pretty well on that side. And just to prove, let's try the other side. Okay, and now let's see how this screws on. And there we go. That's fitting as well. So that sizing down uh, to 98% scale uh, did work ultimately and has made a tight fit. I've tried with 100% before and it doesn't work. So 98 is my go-to. Okay, so that seems to be functioning in its entirety now. I just need to potentially iterate on this so that it doesn't, you know, come out too easily. And that's really easy to do. We're just going to go into Fusion 360 and I'm just going to go back to my original sketch. I'm going to zoom in to this line, edit that to 13 millimeters, and finish the sketch and I'm done. And this is now ready for 3D printing. So that's all there is to it. Let's see how it works. Oh baby, tap to pump, little adapter there, coming over here and pumping into here. <laughs> 